Okay, let's make a glitch effect and uh, let's use the tools we got and move pretty quick here. So, Shutter Shock is new, so I guess we'll use that. And simply click it, click it, and click it, click it, and we'll click photo. A little bit of de delay there. I need a black screen. It has to be an image, cannot use a color board. Or it will not work. Here's an image right there. I'll take that one. Download. And there we go. We got that. Okay. So then I'll bring that down on the timeline. And it's not big enough, so I'm going to need to stretch it out. That'll give me what I need. And then I need some text. So yeah, I'll grab this, pull it down to the second line. And double click on it. I'll go to this uh, designer. Change it. Give it some words. Try to center it. And then we're going to move it over. Stretch it out. I guess I could back it off one. Uh, close enough. Need to shrink this down. Too long. There we go. Now keep in mind I've got my timeline here expanded. You put your mouse over it. So if I shrink it all the way down that's all you see. But I want to see what I'm working with so I'm going to put my mouse on the timeline and expand it out. And uh, move it over so you can see it. And then you can see a little bit more of what's going on. So now I'm going to go here to FX and up in the search here type glitch and then you'll find uh, BC video glitch is what you'll find we're gonna bring that down and you could put it here or you could put it just right on top but I'm gonna put it here and then I'm gonna again shrink this down too and there we go. So now if I go back and I hit play, we got some little glitching going on. See that? But we can play with that a little bit more. Alright? We can actually click on our glitch effect and then click modify. And over here, we got a whole bunch of things we can play with. And you can even scroll down so... Keep that in mind. This is quite the um, the effect here that we can do. So we can turn this up. You know, we can make it more random. Um, we can make the glitch duration less. We can move this down. Trigger mode, automatic, actual duration. Block size, you got to play with all these, whatever you want to do. And then, a uh, little bit faster, a little bit glitchier, see that? Now, I don't know, but... Does Shutter Shock have a glitch sound we can use? I'm kind of doing this off the top of my head. So yeah, there's uh, there's some music. I don't like using music from other companies because usually YouTube will flag them. I don't have any glitch sounds there. Just music, photo, or video. So Shutter Shock is not going to work. Sound clips. Let's have a look at this. 
and I believe sound clips is from Power Director. Sound clips are a lot safer because really they're just a few seconds is what they are. So again, I'll do a glitch balloon air release. Really? I don't think that's going to work. So my other choice is, is to go to the internet now. Okay, after surfing the internet, I found some glitch sounds. Um, ten of them off Shutter Shock. I'll put a link in the bottom for you guys. You gotta make sure I spread this out so we can see this. So how does this one sound? Don't like it. This one? Not bad. This one? Not bad. This one? Don't like it. This one? Not bad. This one? Don't like it. Don't like it. I don't like it. This one's static. No. So let's go back here. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Put that in there. And move it back. And how's this look? Now we don't want it being that long when you actually make the glitch effects. You want it to be a lot shorter, which really gives it the ambience. I was just lengthening everything so you could see how this is on the timeline. Now what you would do is you would uh, just shorten this way up. To give you more of that effect because you're playing a, a, a glitch effect pretty quick whoops and let's give it a shot Might even make it a bit shorter. But you kind of get the idea. And uh, again, all I did was pull the glitch effects from the FX. And then I did a search for glitch. And that's where I found it. This is supposed to be a new uh, transition that they brought in with the upgrade which is pretty cool it makes it a lot easier for uh for us to do what we want now if i want to add this transition a couple times okay i could get a little crazy like i could start cutting and pasting for example i could split it and then go over here and do a split and now my glitch the effect glitch could have different settings all together so I could mess with all three now and now we've got like three glitches going on because remember every time we do a split we can change it see that Again, short it down, make it smaller, it'll give it, it'll be quicker and faster, and uh, give you that look a little bit faster that you want. And when you click on your, gl your glitch effect here, for the FX, you're just modifying, you know, interval we could turn down, um, interval turn down, it's just a matter of playing with this. Bring that up. 
Block size? Heck, I don't know. I'll go 250 on that one. See that? So that's putting a little bit more... A little more reds and greens in there. You see that? And again, shorten it up if you want it to be... Um, you want it to be faster and you want it to be quicker. And then you can basically copy it over and over if you want to give you that effect. But Power Director really has made the um, the glitch effect pretty easy now. I'm going to shrink all these. I held the control key down. Actually, I'll just delete that. And then it'll fit. So now the time's a little bit less. Let's see how it looks now. See? So you're trying to find basically the perfect timing. It is what you're trying to find. More so than any, anything else. We'll really crank this up and see what this does. Probably can make it a little bit longer or change my sound. Now if I want with my sound, I could put a dot here. Yikes, move that over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the control key down. And I'm going to drop myself a dot there. See that? And then I'm going to grab that dot. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit. So control key, put a dot. And then grab the dot and bring it down. So that'll get me like a little fade effect at the end. So there you go. You can make yourself a quick glitch effect if you want. And then uh, just by playing with that. And then what you do is produce it. And keep it off to the side. And then anytime you just put that in front of your video. And then add your video after it. You could take two of these and uh, put them together, is what you could end up doing. So there's a quick tutorial on how to make a glitch using the um, objects within PowerDirector. And uh, I ended up getting the glitch music off another website. I'll give you a link to that. They're all over the internet. And uh, you can make your own and play around with it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.